Good morning, everybody. This is Oki, Surf and Turf Metal Detecting. It is Saturday, July 16th, 2016. Uh, I am not land hunting today. I know you guys think it looks like that, but uh, I'm actually at an old beach. You can tell by that old tree right there that uh, this is an old piece of property, and you're right. I found more silver coins from this little stretch of beach right here than I found from any other beach that I've ever hunted or swimming hole. Uh, I cleaned it out pretty good. Found four silver coins just last year um, out here. Only a couple rings, probably about 30 bucks a clad probably. <laughs> um, so yeah, should be fun. Well, hey, uh, and then, so this is gonna be a two hunt video uh, because this is all I'm hunting today. Um, Got to do some stuff today uh, here in a little bit. And then I'll be hitting another swimming hole tomorrow morning. And then you guys stay tuned after that because I'm going to do a 500 sub giveaway. And uh, yeah, so that's that. Dude. Okay, first target of the day. Had you stepped in the water yet? It's hovering right around the 80s, mid 80s. It is bouncing around a little bit, so let's see what it is, guys. Oh, got it first scoop, man. Huh. Where'd that bad boy go? Oh, there it is. Alright. Uh, first target of the day is going to be a clad quarter right on the beach. Sweet. Second target of the day. It's gonna be right under the dock. It's uh, mid 50s, probably a nickel. Check it out. Oh, that's a weird. Oh, sweet. That's why. It's a Fantasia token. Awesome, man. For guys of you who haven't watched my videos very long, I love tokens. And it says, This is my lucky day. Uh, we'll see if it's my lucky day. But hey, you know what? I'll take a token any day of the week. Man, that's awesome. It's not that old. But uh, hey, cool. All right, third find of the day. 86, 87. I'm sure it's gonna be a clad quarter. But you never know. Got the first scoop. Yep, there it is. That is a clay quarter. I'm pretty excited. You just missed a little woohoo moment here, and I didn't even pick it up yet. 42, 43. And call me crazy, but I see two pieces of roundness down in there. Dude, I may have two rings in one spot, but they're 42, 43. So, <laughs> what would be the chances? This will be awesome. So let's uh, put on the mask. You see it? It's there. Right, let's check it out. It don't look shiny. Ah, oh. that's gonna be a junk mood ring. It's kind of cool looking though, dude. This is a pretty fresh looking drop too. Cause usually this inside turns pretty tarnished and dark pretty fast. Ah. Uh, Dang, well hey, a ring's a ring. But man, that scared me, because I was ringing up uh, similar to that gold ring that I found last weekend, did. So, huh, cool.
around with it a while, guys. I'm not going to bore you. Oh, well, there's a... That's something weird. Oh, my God. I scratched the hell out of it. Pardon my language. Dude, that's a wheat penny. Woohoo! 1957D. I scratched it. So I'm still getting a higher tone down in there. Uh, dang. I shouldn't have been lazy. Ooh, I'm glad I got that on camera too. That's pretty sweet, but man, I scratched the heck out of my wheat penny. Um, ow, that was my head. Yep, got another fishing weight. Man, there's not a lot of targets in here today. <clears throat> well, I'm getting some stuff and I'm not complaining. I probably got a buck fifty and change or whatever, but uh, yeah, I got that ring and I got the token and I got the weedy, so. I'm happy, but I'm about to climb under this dock. This dock is where, so I know this dock isn't old as like the silvers that I've been finding, but if you look at these right here, these bad boys right here are old. So there was a dock on top of this dock for a long time. And uh, I'm sure they had boards like these boards right here where there's, there's slats in them so stuff can fall in between the dock and in the water. And that's where I found most of my silver coins well, it's actually all three three of the four I found right under in here and I found another silver uh, dime right over that way so I'm gonna give this a little bit yeah it's good the water is nice and comfortable it's still right around 60 degrees um, but it's still pretty comfortable Ooh. Ooh. I got a ring, got a ring, got a ring, got a ring. See what it is? Shiny. Uh, that is going to be a stainless steel junker. That's kind of, crosses are kind of cool though. Huh. Sweet. Ring number two for the day. All right. Well, it's about time to get out of here. I'm going to probably dig another couple targets and then I'll see you guys back uh, Sunday I'm good morning everybody it's Sunday man I slept in a little bit this was cutting in my cutting cutting into my hunting time pretty dramatically um, so I left my GoPro camera at home and all of my excitement so yeah you guys aren't gonna see any live action out here in the, in the water um, this morning this is kind of a new spot. It's by my old swimming hole I've been hitting, but look. You guys see that right there? Used to be a dock there, a nice little flat area here. I'm wondering, you know, where I'm finding all my old stuff is right in this zone here of the swimming hole. And I'm almost wondering if back in the day if it extended out over in here. Uh, so I'm going to check that out. See what I can come up with. Uh, since I left my GoPro camera at home, you're not going to see any live digs. But, um... Yeah, anyway, um, I only got about two hours of hunting anyway, but man, what's that orange thing up there in the sky? I hadn't seen that in a while, so that's a welcome sight. Well, guys, I'm wrapped up at the beach here. Um, I spent a little longer than I wanted, actually, all my time I had, but uh, ended up with two more rings for the year. Uh, this is, I thought, was something special, but uh, it's it's solid. I can't squeeze it or nothing like a gumball machine ring. But there's no markings in there. And it's awful small. I'm wondering if it's like a toe ring or something. And then this beauty right here. I believe it's silver. But it's broken. So, but usually silver is kind of black in the water. So I don't think this has been dropped that long. But you see it's got some nice little cool stamping in there. Um, I think the sterling piece is, but probably the piece said sterling may be busted off. Is this heavy? It's a pretty high tone. Uh, so pretty sweet. So anyway, that's ring number three and four for the weekend. I'm happy for less than four hours of hunting total over a weekend, four rings. Hey, I'll take it. Cool. All right. Well, let's get back to the wrap up, guys, and then the contest announcement. It is time for the wrap up, guys. Um, again, I apologize about uh, leaving my GoPro at home. Uh, it kind of sucked because uh, you guys missed out on a couple of rings, um, but that's really about it. And really not a lot of garbage. You can tell I've really been pounding these spots because I'm not pulling a lot of garbage signals out of there. And it's uh, pretty clean. And 
you know, but I, I am, on the other hand, I am surprised on some, some of the stuff I'm finding is pretty deep, some of the clad. So it's been in there a while. Um, so cool. Hey, before we get to this wrap up, uh, I want to do my shout outs for the day. I'm going to do a shout out to Okie Digger. Uh, he just uh, subscribed to the channel a few weeks ago and man, I've been a big fan. I've been watching his channel for a long time. So you guys go check out Okie Digger. Mass Detector, Digging Arkansas, Spud Diggers, and All American Digger. All those guys are great folks. Really good videos. Find some cool stuff. Uh, check the check the links to in the description below uh, to get to their channels. So cool. So here we go. Here's a wrap up. About five bucks and change. Only hunted about four hours this weekend. Um, but still, five bucks and change. Uh, there's my garbage. Not a whole lot. Always dig them pull tabs. You never know. Uh, them, some one of those days that pull tab signal is going to turn out to be shining yellow like it did for me last weekend. A couple of fishing weights, a key, and uh, here's my better stuff for the day, my for the weekend. Got a weedy that I scratched the heck out of. Uh, just a regular Canadian penny, like 1975, and a Fantasia token, which is cool because I love tokens earring and then my four rings no nothing crazy this weekend on rings uh this has kind of been the year for junkers this is a pretty cool looking uh ring here i it's almost like it changes color it may be like a mood ring uh pretty sweet recent drop stainless steel cross ring it's pretty sweet and actually that thing will fit me too man i, I may wear that that's pretty sweet um, another junker, I think it's like a toe ring or something. It doesn't smash, so it's not like a gumball machine ring, but it's still junk. And then probably my best find, other than the token and the weedy, this is silver. You know, there, there's the, I think the place that said Sterling or 925 has been busted off, but it does have a pretty sweet little stamp in there. And without a doubt, that's going to be some silver. So sweet. Very good. All right. Whoa. So that's my finds for the weekend. Um, hope you guys enjoyed it. So let's talk about this contest. Again, we're just going to do it the same way it's been working before. I'm going to announce the prize on my next video. Uh, I've been talking to my new buddy uh, with Indian Nation Detectors. I've been talking to him. I'm going to be picking something from his store. And... Uh, yeah, we're going to be giving away something cool to a lucky subscriber. So all you got to do to enter is just leave a comment. And that's it. That's as simple as that. So just leave a comment to enter the contest. And uh, again, I really appreciate you guys subscribing. I appreciate you guys watching. I really like when you guys comment. Man, I, I love talking to you guys every week. Um, and taking time out of your busy schedules to watch my videos. So I appreciate it. Anyway, um, thanks again, guys. Good luck in the contest. Happy hunting, and always leave the place cleaner than where you found it. See you next week.